Hi. I'm going to try and explain my ground grounding for my for my house and for my solar panels. Okay. First off, this this grounding system was not my idea. Okay. This is my, I don't know if you can see that. This is my building permit. We're gonna set it down there. Okay. There we go. If you can see here, it says electrical for ground mount solar. Okay. Which I had to have that permit. Also, I have the one next to it, which is 200 amp electrical service, new service. So I had to have that permit also. Okay. Now, this is my 200 amp new electrical service I have two grounding rods which is in the blue the green is my ground and this is not the way it travels it travels in conduit anyways this is just that way I can show you I have to have two grounding rods and they have to have a certain type of grounding connector and I've got a couple of the ones that you're not supposed to have in this building somewhere, but I'm not sure where they're at. But I've had some people ask me about my grounding and why I did it and how I did it. So I did this because the building inspector wanted it this way. I guess that's the best way to put it. And uh, so he asked me to do it. This is my meter, my new power thing. And this ground goes and it comes over to the power shed into that first electrical panel box. Okay. The one on the left hand side there. That that ground comes over and into that box. Now, the uh, I have two more grounding rods outside and these are either six or eight feet apart, whatever the code was. And it goes and it comes into that box over there. And that also grounds those bars back there. Okay. It grounds the transformer. And these are not, the ground is not wired into these inverters. Had I brought the ground in from there, I'd be connecting the two sets of grounds. That, that the cases of these grill lots are grounded, but they're only grounded via that bar, or those two bars. My solar panels, they also have a set of grounds, two grounding rods out there, that only go to the solar panels themselves. Now, this grounding idea was not mine. This was what I had to do in order to get these two permits to pass. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. The uh, and and they they came out two or three times in order for me to get these to, permits to pass. They 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 wanted you know different. They had different uh, things that they wanted me to do in order to get my permits to pass. So, 
my solar system ha has passed. I have put in a permit for more solar panels out there. And I don't know if yet whether I get a tie-in to these grounding rods or whether they want me to put in a separate set of grounding rods. And it don't matter. We'll do whatever they want. The way they told me was is this is just like having a great big old lightning rod out there. So they did not want my solar panels to be grounded to my house. So they didn't want me to connect into either of these. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that that's basically how my grounding happened to come out the way it did. It's uh, It was my building inspectors and in this county wanted it done this way so that uh, I had no intentions of buying six separate grounding rods I have six separate grounding rods that are hooked together I had no intention of buying six separate sets of grounding rods but that was what they wanted me to do I hope that answers the questions on the grounding. And we, I did hook my ground up to where it would uh, ground those bars. Okay. I wanted to ground those bars and hook up because they did not want me to hook my grounds to combine them. So that's why my ground is set back here. The, this is grounded. Okay. There's screws going in up there and down there that have my cases grounded. So there's screws up at the top and screws down at the bottom that grow into those bars that are grounding my grow watt, the cases to my grow watt inverters. The uh, this does have an internal ground, which I've shown on other videos. But yeah, that's basically how my grounding came to be. Was the county is the ones that said, "Hey, you know, you need to do it this way." So. That's basically the, how it came about. Hope that answers any questions anyone might have had about my grounds. It wasn't some idea of mine. So, but I did get my grounding. I got I got my solar system to pass, and uh, just figured I'd let you guys know that yeah, it's. Uh, that's that's the way it came. So I have six different grounding rods on my property. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>